Boy, young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dells. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Common, and right now you're checking out DJ Dells. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. What it do, what it does, the kid. Mr. R.I.P. himself, low so, in case you ain't no so, rocking with DJ Dells. And then with it, y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dells. No question, Neighborhood Nip. Dells, Red, man, I'm in the building. Let's get it. Twenty ten Grinch, and then right here we have actually the actual new twenty twenty. So we're gonna do a quick comparison. It definitely is got um more of a darker green here, and I think that could be also because of the wear, because of the fact that I wore these a ton, and um, they're old as shit. You know, they're ten years old <laughs> with the red laces. Is the old pair. And the new pair is the green laces. Now, they changed a little bit of the technology, gave us better upgraded technology. That's why it's called a Pro Tro, um, like a retro, but a Pro Tro, um, upgrading everything. I'm excited to wear these. I really am. And I was lucky enough to get my pair. And uh, I had great memories. Oop, my son's toy is in here. <laughs> I had great memories with this shoe. Uh, but, you know, we got to keep it moving and um, stay with the new, right? Get out with the old and stay with the new. It is 2021 now. Looks amazing. That green translucent ice versus that, which just looks like um, shit, right? Definitely let me know which one you like better, the OG or the 2020. I like the 2020 way better because it, it seems to be a little bit more brighter. Like, But then again, as I was saying, I, I put so much wear into this shoe, um, so much wear into the shoe that, you know, it could be the case that's just darker from wear. But I think it is a little, the, the green is a little bit darker on this one versus the OG. And let me know what laces you like better. This is the 2010 and then... This is the 2020. Um, just feeling them on feet. You could tell, like, I could feel that this is a newer shoe, that this feels newer. Um, as far as comfortability wise, I feel basically the same, I think. There's not really some kind of crazy difference. Uh, so, as far as like the feel of the new version, um, I also have to break this in. I mean, this shoe is just broken in like crazy. And, there's nothing like a, a nice broken in pair of shoes, right? So just a quick vibe off of the on foot. And you know, I got to hit you with an infamous bird's eye view for your stinking asses. Hit the thumbs up button, bong, bong, bong. Yes. Hit the thumbs up button, bong, bong, bong. Good morning. We are live. The beauty of this program that I ran across, I can show you video and then we can go live after and hang out for a second. So, um, let me know what you like better um, as far as these shoes. Like, which um, shoe do you think is a cooler pair? The OG, which is this one right here. This is the OG. So is it cooler to have the OG or are you more or less like, yo, dog, forget about the OG. It's all about, it's all about the new fresh pair. Because to me, it's all about the new fresh pair. Like, it's cool. To have the original, but um, I'm going to get rid of these things. Like, I know someone else will want these, and um, I'll basically be able to get the money I paid for this, for this right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Some would say, yo, you got to keep it. It's historic. See, um, that's what got me into the point where I'm like four or 500 sneakers deep. I can't be having four or five, 600 sneakers. History doesn't need to be in my house. You know what I mean? I, I do not have... Um, um, a, a place where I'm charging at the door to come in and um, check out the history. You know what I mean? It's not a museum. This is a damn house. So um, I've came to the conclusion that where it's like, if I get the new version, it's time to get rid of the old version. The, the younger me before three kids, a um, bunch of animals in the house, uh, like dogs and cats and all of that. I had, I had room before, but I don't have room to just keep and 
all of these, um, but definitely darker. But I think this also has to do with the wear, like just so much effing wear. And um, if you see the T-shirt I'm rocking today, rest in peace to Luke Harper, aka Brody Lee, and um, Eric Rowan. We got we got show love to Eric Rowan rocking that Bludgeon Brothers T right here, the Bludgeon Brothers T, as you can see. And uh, man, it was cool to see Eric Rowan on that tribute, definitely for sure. Um, but let me know your thoughts. And um, it's weird. What's up, G Fish? It's weird to see um, no real releases today, right? On a Saturday, there, there wasn't really much that dropped. Now, there was a few little restocks. I posted some of them on my Twitter. But all in all, it, um, it was a light day today. And, and I like that. I like that this Sunday, Saturday, excuse me, we didn't have like a shitload of stuff releasing. It was a little bit crazy. It was just a little bit crazy with all of these damn releases. But, yes, happy to have my pair. Uh, would you keep the OG if you were me? I'm curious. Do you feel like I should keep the OG for history reasons? Or are you like, get this shit out of here. You got you got the new pair, man. You got the brand new pair. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat because I definitely want to know. And um, I'll sh show you real quickly both of the laces on feet because I have this loaded up. For people that are still on the fence of what laces to go with. Sneaker Addicts, we got the Kobe Grinches on feet with both of the laces. What laces do you like better? Do you like them with the red laces or the green laces? Leave it in the comments below because I do want to know. The red or the green? The green or the red? Leave it in the comments because I want to know. Hit you with that IG pose, bong bong. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing great out there. Thumbs it up and let me hit you with that infamous bird's eye Phew. Is it the red or is it the green? Is it the green or is it the red? Let me know, cause I wanna know. Type it, bang bang. <laughs> And rest in peace to Pecan Yo Wild. We will be celebrating his life until I'm done with sneakers on this channel. I will never be known with sneakers, but until the day I stop doing YouTube videos, which um, I'm going to be honest with you, I think about stopping every single day just because it is work out of my day. So if you love these videos, hit the thumbs up button. I've been seeing not so many thumbs ups lately. And that, when I see that, it makes me not want to do videos. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so hit that thumbs up button. If, if, when, you, when you're doing it for this long and you, you see the videos, you're giving out so much of your life out there. You're part of my soul I give to y'all. Um, the thumbs up's important because because I'm going to be real with you. Every day I think about stopping, not because I don't want to, but it's like, eh, I don't know if people want to watch. So sim simply hit the thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Mario just said seventh like. We should have 20 likes by now. You know what I mean? So... Um, I'm grateful for all you here, but, you know, screaming every single day is a lot. Um, and and um, I don't think I'm asking for a lot. I'm not asking you all to super chat me. If you'd like to, you can. That's great. You donate to the channel. But just um, it takes one second. You ain't going to get the Rona hitting the thumbs up button. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me know. Uh, in your, in, if you were in my shoes, would you sell these shoes right here or would you keep them now that you have the new pair? What would you do? Keep both or sell the old pair? Leave in the comments because I want to know. I definitely want to know. Um, Jumpman Bostick, I'm going to be shipping this out to you today, bro. I haven't forgot about you. I will be shipping these today. I couldn't find them. I don't know where the hell they were. And then my wife finally, she put them away from me. So, you know, that's the whole ordeal with that. He says, keep the OG. Keep the OG. Sell them. Um, bro, what I don't know what's up with that Air Max, man. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that damn Air Max. You know, I got my pair and it came in all shitty. Like, my pair is horrible. Um, it just looks used. That's what it is, man. It just it looks used. Um, and I have them, I left them outdoors, you know, because I, I, I don't want to get no Rona off of it. People are laughing, saying, dude, you, you shook off the Rona. Man, I got three kids, I'm not risking. Getting them sick. Me, if I was living alone, I don't give a shit. Probably scroll them down and wear them. But um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with these now. I'll probably 
probably donate them. You know, I had one person was like, yo, I'll buy them off you right now. I need them. I don't give a shit about how, <laughs> how much dirt is on there. I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> he says, sell those old Kobe's. All right. And he hit me with that super chat. I think you're right, man. Why keep these? For what? That's that's do we fall victim of that sneaker head sneaker addicts of, of almost borderline hoarding? Um, because that's how I feel. I feel like sometimes I feel like maybe I'm hoarding out these shoes when I have like three pairs throughout the years of the shoe. Get rid of the old one, just get rid of the old one. You got the new one, wear these and throw these shits away or sell them. You know, someone will buy these things. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do, man. You know, that's ultimate compliment and the soul of my thank you for your support ultimate compliment is that super chat and it means a lot to me so you know we got to hit you with that ultimate dells the solo mind let's go What's good is the one and only solo mind with the super chat. Y'all, I hope you have a good weekend, bro. It's Saturday. Do your damn thing, bro. And happy new year, bro. Keep both. You will regret it later. I don't know if I will regret it later. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cause it's like I'm like it's it's a shoe is a shoe, man. It's like, as I said, like I'm not I'm not I don't have a museum in my crib. You know, I feel like I'm what what am I trying to do here? Buying buying them every single year and keeping every single year, like like this ain't a fucking museum. And I gave y'all a comparison of both of them today. I think I did a pretty good job at giving you the, the comparison. Um, for people that are just walking in, I'll play the comparison again because I know you know we're, people are gonna be watching this on the playback a lot more. But um, you know what, what I want to do now is like give you the video in the beginning and then hang out for a second. 2010 Grinch, and then right here, we have actually the actual new 2020. So we're gonna do a quick comparison. It definitely is got um, more of a darker green here. And I think that could be also because of the wear, because of the fact that I wore these a ton and um, they're old as shit, you know, they're 10 years old. <laughs> With the red laces is the old pair. And the new pair is the green laces. Now, they changed a little bit of the technology, gave us better upgraded technology. That's why it's called a Pro Tro, um, like a retro, but a Pro Tro, um, upgrading everything. I'm excited to wear these. I really am. And I was lucky enough to get my pair. And uh, I had great memories. Oh, my son's toy is in here. <laughs> I had great memories with this shoe. Uh, but, you know, we got to keep it moving and um, stay with the new, right? Get out with the old and stay with the new. It is 2021 now. Looks amazing. That green translucent ice versus that, which just looks like um, shit, right? Definitely let me know which one you like better, the OG or the 2020. I like the 2020 way better because it, it seems to be a little bit more brighter. Like, But then again, as I was saying, I, I put so much wear into this shoe, um, so much wear into the shoe that, you know, it could be the case that's just darker from wear. But I think it is a little, the, the green is a little bit darker on this one versus the OG. And let me know what laces you like better. This is the 2010 and then... This is the 2020. Um, just feeling them on feet. You could tell, like I could feel that this is a newer shoe, that this feels newer. Um, as far as comfortability wise, I feel basically the same, I think. There's not really some kind of crazy difference. Uh, so as far as like the feel of the new version, um, I also have to break this in. I mean, this shoe is just broken in like crazy. And, there's nothing like a, a nice broken in pair of shoes, right? So just a quick vibe off of the on foot. And you know, I got to hit you with an infamous bird's eye view for your stinking asses. Hit the thumbs up button, bong, bong, bong. Yeah, so um, 
You know, I'm reading the comments. First of all, how do they fit? I went up half a size, up half a size um, on the six and the fives. And um, yes, Mo, the new technology. See, they call it a pro tro, as I was saying, because they, you know, it's it's a retro, but a pro tro where they 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 give you the better foam, you know, upgrade the zoom and all of that. So you know, this is a way better shoe. And I did put on both of these after I did that video this morning. I um, also um, wore these like around the house, and there is a definite difference. And another big thing that I'm so glad I remembered to talk about. Nike did not send the box with that stupid tape on it. The box fit exactly to the shoe. And I'm like, holy shit, what is this? And, and it was a new address and it was sent by FedEx and not that, that, that company with an L, which seems to be pretty effing shady lately, which is freaking awesome. So that's some good news right there. Really, really good news. Um, I want to play a tribute for you all that I... I, I put together like a little mix blend um, and it's over at the Dell's show. We do a lot of other stuff on the Dell show music. We do live streams where we're not talking about sneakers really. So, and we also give you bonus sneaker content plus collectibles. Like I'm going to have a video up on all the new AEW figures. So subscribe to the Dell show, but like most deaf did like this amazing, um, he, he did a tribute for MF doom, right? on the no caps joint. And I, I was like, man, I, I wanna see if anyone made like a mix and connected both of them together and no one did. So I wanted to share this with you, this mix right here. Um, rest in peace to MF Doom, man. It's crazy. Like four of his albums are in the top 10. Um, it's just, it's, it's cool, but at the same time, it just sucks that like people are just now like, you know, getting him. He's been around for so long, man. Um, but yeah, man, let me show you this. It's not perfect, but you know, I was just putting something together. I think I think the diehard fans will enjoy this. Can you hear? Give me a thumbs up. You can hear it in the chat. No one. Up. No one. Up. No one. Up. Up. Up oh, so nasty, it's probably some other bitch I was be having me. Told the people you could call me your majesty. Keep the battery charged. You know I won't stick, yo. And it's not his fault you kick slow. Should've let your chick hold, chick hold be sick, blow. Plus he couldn't do nothing once he let the brick go. And you know I know, that's a bunch of snow. Be the show butter, peak the slow flutter as he utter the car blow. Don't talk about my mom, yo. Sometime he rhyme quick, sometime he rhyme slow, vice versa. Cook up a slice of nice burst pie. Hit it on first shot, fill it. The worst guy spot hot tracks like he spot a pair of bad asses. Shots in the sky for your square shot glasses. And he won't stop till he got the mask. Show him what they know not to blow the hot glass. Do it like the robot that has been in the book a loop. Took a few minutes to convince the average book of book. Ugly. Let's look at you, it's a damn shame. Just remember all caps when you spell the man's name. On the Doom album? Yeah, that's easily one of the greatest shit ever. Rest in peace to MF Doom. Thumbs up the video.